I'm going to show you how to make some signage using Communicate and Print 2. So I'm loading the software. Communicate and Print 2 obviously has the widget symbols. You'll see that my screen is slightly different from what yours will look like in that my icons are bigger and therefore have spilled over two lines. Um, your Cat Sam icon would be round about here when you see your screen. But everything else is the same, it's just the layout is very slightly different. First thing I'm going to do is change this page to Landscape by going through File, Document Setup and changing it from Portrait to a Landscape Sheet. Obviously I can make the page bigger if I wish to, visually bigger so that you can see it better. I want to create a sign, or two signs rather, so I'm going to select this icon which will allow me to put in a word which would be symbolised and also a border round about it. So click on this icon and draw the startings of my first sign which is quite large. In frames and pictures and appearance, I can change the appearance of that frame. The radius, which is slightly rounded, I can make sharper or more rounded. I'm going to choose a sharper effect. The line thickness, if I go for larger, it will increase the size of that black line. We'll stick with about 10. The border width can be made larger. And the internal space can also be increased, but that would give you less area to show your symbol. So I'm going to make the internal space quite small, four. I can change colours to my borders and backgrounds within the frame appearance box also. I'll click on OK. My frame has changed. If I Go back to frames and pictures and this time make a table and I'm going to make a table which is only two cells across but one cell down. So there we go. When the yellow handles are on the table you can move it, you can reduce it and increase it so that it fits the size of your page. Right-clicking will get rid of the handles. I'm going to type my first sign, which is staff room. Pressing space will give me the widget symbol. And the next sign I will type is library. Again, pressing space will give me the widget symbol. These symbols are not particularly well-centered, so if I right-click, and do one of three things. Firstly, I'll click on this, this cell here, which makes the content grow to fit the fixed area. So the pictures will grow in size. Next, I'll make sure we are horizontally aligned by clicking on the icon on the right hand side. Slight change there. And vertically aligned, again, the icon on the right hand side. And there's my first lot of door signage. If I right click, the handles disappear. Right clicking again, the yellow handles will reappear. And I'm going to copy that particular sign. I'm going to go on to the next page, page two. And from the top, I will paste using the clipboard those signs. Right clicking to get the yellow handles away. And now I can edit and modify. So I have my next lot of signage to go in. So we have the gym and we have the toilets. And so you can continue. Page one, staff from library, Page two, gym and toilets, right clicking, copying, go on to page three, 
pasting from the top toolbar, right clicking, and then modifying your sign according to the next sign that you wish to use. Once the signs are made, they can be printed, laminated and displayed all around your school.